What's up, guys? Um, just a quick review here for you on the uh, No Stud Hangman TV Hanger. No experience necessary hanging TV in minutes. That is a fact. Um, I'm not inexperienced with hanging TVs. I've had all of the wall mounts before. I had the ones that extend out, go left to right. The fixed ones that just go up and down. Uh, I've had them all. Uh, at this point, um, this was very cost efficient, being that it was only $20. And I felt like if I would have got a better or you know fancy mount then i would have kind of been obligating myself to stick to that living room setting uh for my living room tv and i just didn't want that because i don't know if i ever get new furniture i might want to change it around and i would rather deal with small nails in the wall rather than big holes uh from drilling but if you are one of those people who have a wall in your home where the studs are not close enough to, for you to mount a tv or you can't locate the studs, I do think this is the solution for you. Um, even if you are like a, somebody in college or a female in college or they tell you you can't drill in the wall or whatever, um, I do think this is a great solution. Uh, this one holds 26 to 55 inch TVs and they did have a bigger one that goes from 55 to I wanna say 70, but don't quote me on that. It was about 15 more bucks for sure. Uh, the only two things that I used uh, was a hammer and a screwdriver um it's super easy guys um i'll go ahead and show you the tv i know you guys are probably tired of looking at the box probably should have showed you the step by step um but yeah the tv is perfectly fine um 600 tv on a 20 dollars mount some people may call me crazy but it is what it is um the process guys super simple you take your wall bracket with the level, I'll show you on the, I don't know what's the name first. You take your wall bracket with the level and you put it in the wall, just like that. Um, it's about, maybe about 12 to 15 nails, very small nails though. And you nail all of those nails in the wall and make sure the level is in the center and that it's leveled properly. And then you take your TV bracket, find the correct uh, diameter bolts um, that go in the back of your TV and make sure that that's secured properly. And then you literally pick the TV up and you sit it on the mount and behind my TV looks just like so. As you see, I have the wall bracket and uh, the, all the nails up there. Um, and you have the two bolts and the TV bracket. And that's it. That's literally it. That's all that's holding my TV up there. And it's perfectly fine. Um, secure. I'm, I'm sure as hell not gonna pull on it or tug on it to show you guys, but if it was going to fall, it would have done so already. Um, some cons about this that I've noticed. Um, if you have HDMI ports or any type of ports that you use on your TV that are behind the TV um, Maybe at the lower section um, You definitely want to plug those in first before you get the TV up there because you might have a hard time trying to Get behind the space and install those um, Luckily for me um, My ports are right there on the side. So it worked fine and Yeah, I mean Just giving you guys a review um, I think I'm going to start doing a review on anything that I deem necessary reviewable. Um, uh, I bought this because they were constantly touching my TV and it was pissing me off a little fingerprints on my TV. So 20 bucks and I fixed that problem and I think it looks damn good. Um, definitely got to find something to do with the cables for now. But um, in the meantime, uh, it, this gets the job done. Um, it's not a permanent thing um if you don't want to put this on your big fancy living room tv then maybe you could use something like this to just mount your kids tv it's okay man it's okay but uh yeah that is my review guys that is the hangman no stud stud finder uh i'm sorry no stud tv hanger and yeah i hope it works for you guys if you decide to try it
Have a good 2019 and be blessed.